Okay, hello everyone. I'm just coming back to you again to show you my old house and how it's coming along. This will be the final video. And if you remember, I started this project some months ago. I'm doing a whole renovation, remodel, and the tenants are beginning to move in. So I'm making this video now so you can see how progress has come along. So I'm just about done. I'm doing a little minor little things to, fit, to make uh, everything just right. But come on inside. Let me show you what's going on if you, if you remember correctly what i was telling you is that i'm doing a remodel renovation which means i'm changing walls i'm changing rooms uh, adding new walls changing the whole floor plan basically not just an update but changing the floor plan so for example this used to be a one complete living room i've made this living room be a kitchen living room combined and so you see i i did all these i did all these cabinets i put all these i hung all these cabinets and I followed my plans that I made some months ago. <clears throat> and everything came out just right. And as I said, my tenants began to move in. So some of her belongings are already on the countertop. She's utilizing that. Very good. All my plumbing's working right. Drains, drains well. Uh, let me explain some things. It's a full functioning kitchen. We got room for a dishwasher here. And we got room for a full size refrigerator. And I ran plumbing for a ice future ice maker, so they have a water valve for that. The plumbing's up under the sink. I, you know, I, I, I made it go straight down into the floor, down to a crawl space. I put a range hood here and built a little extension so it can go up and out the attic and exhaust outside. Um, yeah, so I hung these cabinets. And let me show you the floors. This is my really my crown achievement here. These used to be this used to be carpeting. You remember when I first you first come in, you see carpeting here. Now it's hardwood floor. So I stripped off the all carpeting, took all the tacks and nails out, uh, sanded the floors down, stained them, polyurethaned them, and they're looking really good. I did that throughout the house except for this master bedroom. I put tiles down to the floors where I couldn't save those floors. They were no, they were too far gone. But here's the master bedroom. If you remember, this used to be the kitchen. That used to be the wall with all the cabinets used to be on. That's all gone. The old cabinets are gone. And if you remember another video I showed you, that used to be a brick wall with furring strips on it and a little piece of drywall on top of that. I took that down. Me and my buddies demoed that. And I built a frame wall up here. And now that makes that wall more sound and insulated, protecting it from the weather. Put new outlets here. And that's just all part of a renovation. You're changing the electric, you're rerunning plumbing. Uh, this used to be a pantry here. I took that pantry. And if you remember correctly, this area here, I extended this wall over to make room for the refrigerator on the other side. And made this door smaller. Well, made this opening smaller for for a 28 inch door. And this used to be a brick wall, so I, so I had to cut out that brick wall to do that. I had a, a, a demolition saw. And there used to be a kitchen door here. I put in some swinging doors for this walk-in closet, which is a dressing room too. It's a room for a dressing room. She could walk in here. She's already starting to put some of her items in here. She got bags there, but um, yeah, they got them all stacked up here. I got a closet rod here. I think I'm going to put a little bracket here to hold this up, make it stronger. But yeah, let me explain more what I did here. I raised this floor. It used to be a concrete floor down there. It's still concrete, but I put two by fours down there, put some foam insulation out of there, and the tiles, and, I mean, and, and plywood, three quarter inch plywood. So that raises this floor up, making it more insulated, not as low as it was. Put some tile down there. I took a whole lot of extra um, planking that used to be all on this side because it was cabinets and shelves here. I took all those cabinets and shelves out. You see, they're all gone. And you remember there used to be windows here. So I built two by four framing, oh, two by four 16 on center framing wall here, there, and redone that that um, pl planking all the way across. Restained some of them, recut them to fit. It was a major big project, but I'm glad I did it. Made a lot more extra room for someone to enjoy. Voltage um, cabling's here. 
and holes in the wall. I got that's these are some of the little things I gotta do to um, get the cables throughout the house for internet. Let me show you. This is gonna be the distri distribution center. See all that? This is the last thing I've been working on: running Ethernet cables, telephone cable, Cat5, uh, coax. So yeah, everything's gotta be done today with that. And while I'm here, I'll show you this mechanical room. I retiled the floor, put some new electrical outlets here, making it where there's a switch for the furnace and a switch for the light. No more pull chain. And like I said, I had to reroute my electric and, and redo my service panel. And I reroute my plumbing. It ran plumbing from out that closet. I'm gonna show you that next. And ran it here. So now there's one shutoff valve that controls the whole house. In this room, easy access. Let me show you that closet. <clears throat> this closet right here, this hallway, and in this closet leads down to a crawl space. Well, right here, around point net, used to be a shutoff valve and it was leaking and it was hard to access. Well, tenants will put in their belongings and you never could get to that valve for emergency to shut off the water. So I, I took that plumbing and I rerouted it all the way back to the other room back there that I showed you. And as a reminder, there was a whole lot of plumbing work I had to do underneath this house. Let me show you the bathroom. What did I do in the bathroom? Well, I took the old vanity out, put a pedestal in, made it be more room, roomier, put new tiles down. I had to reset my toilet. Man, that toilet was a mess. It wasn't sitting right and water was leaking back behind it, making a, uh, making a bad environment for mold. So that wood was rotted. I took that old wood out, redid the floor, patched it the floor right there, and now the toilet's sitting straight. I had to extend this wall over to make room for this door, a smaller door, so now it doesn't bump the toilet. I mean, yeah, bump the toilet. You used to bump the toilet. And I also changed the swing. I changed the swing to this side instead of swinging toward the toilet. And because I did that, the outlet that was the the switch that was on his side to control the the, the light. I put over here and up there you see a new light too a new light fixture I put new framing members here and redid a drywall right here so I could put in a new vanity right here and didn't did do much in the tub tub was fine let's clean it up and let me show you these rooms my battery is running low I didn't do much of the room stuff with the same thing with the floors paint and baseboard and quarter round, I had to redo that, take them, take them out, and lower them back down to be flush with the floor. Same with that room over there. You know, and the closet doors. I, I made these closet doors where they slide better. They used, they used to didn't slide, but now they slide right. And she's starting to put in her clothes. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you enjoyed these videos. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me. Stay tuned for the next project. It's coming soon. That's what I do. I remodel homes. I'm a landlord. I buy homes. I flip, I flip them, sell them, or rent them out. And this is my line of work. And I just show this to my friends and family. They're not teaching videos, but I hope you enjoyed the series. If you have any questions, contact me. And again, I'll see you next time for my old house. Thanks for watching.